Hi guys, Paul and Thomas here. Hello. And what have we got here? Uh, we have a rather interesting multi-rotor actually. And uh, what we're looking at here is obviously my iPhone. And that's just to give you a comparison in size to the package that we received. Uh, yes, and you thought it was a PDB. Well, I, I looked at that and I saw the PDB and I just thought someone had sent a PDB for me to review and obviously it wasn't. Uh, no, that was just part of the whole frame. So it really comes in a tiny package. It's What's it called? The Blade? Blade 150. From Banggood, isn't it? Uh, yes, from Banggood. And you can get it in 150 size. Uh, I think you can even extend the carbon arms to 165. And then there's also a 180 and 200 version. Okay, so what configuration did you actually go? You went with 150, um, didn't you? I went with 150. I went with the smallest. It was an interesting build, to say the least. <laughs> so the PDB itself actually supports 5 volts out. Now, we didn't actually use this PDB, do we? Um, no, we ended up using one of our other PDBs. What I will do is actually do a follow-up video and show the actual build, but this is more kind of an unboxing, showing what you actually receive with the Blade 150, and we'll follow that up with some flight footage. So these are the frame bits that you actually receive with it. Uh, the left-hand side is the top plate, isn't it? Uh, yes, and the other one's the bottom plate. And these are the carbon arms. This is available in two versions, isn't it? Is it there's a uh, there's fiberglass and there's carbon. So any reason you went for the actual carbon variant? Um, because it was literally a few dollars extra, and you're going to get a fair bit more strength, and it's a uh, lighter weight. Um, the fiberglass one does have a built-in PDB, so you can, if you have a look at the f pictures of the fiberglass one online, uh, generally the builds come out a lot neater. So essentially, your idea of this was basically having a quad that you could fly indoors, around the house, and I suppose in the backyard, and just a general one that you could play around with, much the same way you would with a simulator, isn't it? Um, yes, except for the fact this is real life. And keep in mind, this is running the full gear. This is running a NAS Air 32, a D4R2 receiver, SN20s, so it's, it's no it's, compromise. It, the, the final build, and I will do a follow-up video showing you the final build, it actually is running the full gear that we would typically run in any of our other multi rotors. And the handling and flight characteristics, what do you think of it? Um, it's just like the real thing. It's um, this, It's actually no compromise. Uh, a bit underpowered, but that's it. Yeah. Um, and, but also, it's worth noting we're actually running low C batteries. You're running 800 milliamp batteries at the moment? Uh, yes. And they're 3C batteries that we actually had. 3C. 30C. And they're 30C batteries. Sorry about <laughs> that. And uh, actually, some of them are 20Cs too, so they're not very, very powerful batteries at all. But that's what we had lying around to use with our FPV goggles. And that's what we're essentially using with this multi rotor. So there you go, we have these standoffs for it. Yeah, it's and, really tiny. <laughs> and what we'll do, we'll cut to some footage of it already built so you can see, sorry, the frame put together so you can see what it looks like. So this is the frame pretty much assembled, uh, obviously with the P2B that came with it. Um, and you can sort of give you, gives you an idea of the actual basic layout. It was pretty tight to actually do this build, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It was really, really hard. It took a lot of planning. So, and it's worth noting, Thomas is going to have to, he's going to be rebuilding his again, just uh, changing some parts around the component layout. And that's only because he put it together roughly, because he rushed it. He had a birthday party to go to, didn't you? Um, yeah, and I really wanted to see if it worked, so. But anyway, look, the flight characteristics of this multi rotor are really, really good. It's super stable, uh, can seem, seems to be able to handle wind okay, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It handles wind just like any other multi rotor. I mean, it drifts a bit more because it's lighter, but it, as far as like jitters and stuff go, it's, it's no compromise. It's no compromise. Look, it's not going to be a very cheap build, but if you want a quality little quad that you can fly around indoors or, um, around the house, uh, and things along those lines, it's definitely the way to go. He's going to fly. This beast. Now what we did do, we actually uh, took it to a park one of the days after school. It was really windy, wasn't it? Oh yeah. And um, this is Thomas doing the first takeoff and you'll notice he'll go into a, a roll straight away. So this is you flying it. Um, it was quite cold, wasn't it? So we flew it from inside the car to and also outside the car. What did you actually think of it? I mean, this is your first flight. The first time you actually went out besides hovering and actually flew it outside. Okay, well, at first it was weird because, like, it's because it's no compromise. It feels like a real multi-rotor. So it's kind of strange because you realize that you're actually flying a lot smaller frames. So you could actually go to tighter gaps. And then... It's just kind of hard to get your brain around that because the whole time you're thinking you're flying a larger multi-rotor. Um, it was kind of like when I dropped down from the 400 size quads to the 250s, um, where there was that kind of weird transition. 
to realising how much space you had to play with now. But look, anyway, what we will do is actually follow this up with another video and we will show you some more uh, video of the final build. I'm actually building one too, so we're going to have a second one soon. I'm still waiting on some parts from FPV models, um, the little Dragonfly motors, um, SN20s I've ordered. I've also ordered a whole lot of props for us, which we will be cutting down to size and running them as bullnose. But I will follow this up with a video a little later on. Anyway, thanks for taking time to watch this video and we will catch you guys later. See ya.